Good evening and good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Jim Jermaine's Vids again. Uh, a bit more part two now of the um, ultimate bubbler I'm making. Um, as you know from yesterday, I assembled the main unit just to uh, see how it would go together. Today I'm looking at um, the, the valves part of inside this. Now, um, Silent Death, yeah, thanks for your comment yesterday. Um, I had thought about what you were saying and uh, from coming from the bottom of the unit. And what I've bought is is uh, some check valves. These are just plumbing supplies, basically. And then these check valves, we have these, have these tiny little plastic valves inside there. And I want to remove these valves, and they're quite easy to remove. There's a little circle up in there. If you can see in the camera, there's a little silver ring. You take that out, and what you can do is remove the valves. Now, these valves are very good quality valves. And they open, obviously, one way. That's the inlet there, and that's the out. And the plan is with this, is having the, that's the out there, is I'm going to be attaching this tube to the bottom of it. It will be glued uh, with the waterproof super glue I have. And once that's set and dried, and when the hole is drilled from underneath, this will be fitted inside the actual cylinder. Um, and inside this tube will be... This grade of sponge, it's kind of, it's actually a filter. The same, it's the same stuff you get in, in fish tank filters. So um, that will be uh, what will be used for inside the tube here to filter the actual water. Also, in this tube is going to be drilled with lots of little holes, tiny holes in it. So what I'm going to call this is a call a diffuser. It's going to, as the bubbles come out through the through the one-way check valve underneath here from the actual um, the primary bubbler, it's going to make not only clean. The, the water up the, the, the bubbles it's also going to um, make the bubbles really tiny as well so there's um, less chance of a flashback actually happening in, in the unit at all or so to speak so yeah that's my next move now is to make the uh, the one-way check valve for inside the unit now right, so I've got my valves out now and uh, as you can see that's the first one of the first pipes. It's going to be trimmed down at the end. That's too long at the moment, but that's just gluing on there with super glue, which is waterproof. And there's my uh, other one there for the other side, and they're clamped in, so make them nice and tight, airtight. Let them dry off, and I'll adjust my holes in the tubes. Okay, they seem to be nice and dry now. I've put in a three mil drill bit into my drill, and uh, just release this and um, put it under the drill and start drilling some holes. Draw my holes fairly evenly. Um, that will fit inside that tube there. Obviously, washes either end. Uh, I'm now going to stuff some of this uh, fish tank um, foamy sort of stuff inside this tube, and then I'm going to block it off with some uh, glue at the top, so the bubbles only rise to obviously where the holes are. So I don't want bubbles going up here and getting trapped. So that's the next bit. Okay, I've got my uh, foam cut up and stuffed in there. Not too tight though. I've tried blowing through it. It's uh, quite easy to blow through. But it's got a filter inside it now. I'm now going to fill this with uh, glue from the glue gun. Right down to here. Let's do that. Plenty of glue inside there. Right to the top there, nice and full up. That's good enough for me. Yeah, it could drive and go hard. 
some curve. There we have it. Uh, we've got the um, filters and check valves installed now. Well, not properly. I've got to drill some holes underneath here. Uh, where I'll put my barbs connectors in there. So the air will flow up throughout the holes through the filter. And obviously there'll be a hole at the top as well. And uh, we'll transfer to the next one. Do the same job. But this one will have the, um, the valve on top. So far, so good. I think I'll do for now. Until tomorrow. Take care, guys.